This video isn't sponsored, but I do want to say that I received the game for free from my good friend Alex. You may know him as Unreal Ent Gaming, or Unreal for short, but if not, you definitely need to check him out, and be sure to subscribe to his channel for some of the best Dragon Ball content on the platform. Thanks again for the gift, Alex. You are a real one. Welcome to a brand new playthrough on the Mark and Nine channel. This is Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Is it Dragon Ball Z or Spark Sparking Zero? Or is it Dragon? Is it Dragon Ball? Dragon Ball Z? Spark? I don't know. Whatever. We're just gonna say Sparking Zero. I'm very excited to be playing this game. You guys asked for it. Uh, we posted the community tab, and I was like, "Hey, you guys want to see this playthrough?" And you guys were like, "Heck yes!" And uh, and so we finally got around to it. Although it wouldn't have been possible without my friend Alex. I mean, it would have been like I could have bought the game myself, but he bought it for me as a gift because he's a good friend. And so, uh, as the intro implied, uh, Alex was there, and he bought the gift, and he's a me with the uh, with the super deluxe mega EX plus alpha boogaloo edition and so we got all the DLC and I'm stoked to give that a try I've seen some gameplay of this Alex has shown me himself like some of the things that he's done and it's really freaking cool so I'm stoked to try this out let's uh, let's give it a try and see what happens here I like the visuals That's definitely the best a, a Dragon Ball character has ever looked in a game. Very close to the enemy. Oh, okay. I'm in, I'm in it now. Okay. All right. Let's get used to the movement. Guard. Keep, oh, dude. Look at that. Dude, that looks amazing. I have this on, like, the highest brightness with all the... Uh, all the graphics and stuff up. Like, super duper high. Whoa, okay, this is pretty sweet. All right, getting used to the movement. That's down, that's up. Guard, oh, you want me to, oh, you want me to jump from on the ground, huh? You won't win just by flailing around. Chris Abbott is always freaking amazing when it comes to voice acting, but I did see some performances of this game. I'm not gonna say who, um, uh, or voice actors by name, but I will say I did see some that were like, they really phoned this in. We'll know it when we see it. Or maybe it was just like beta stuff, but I don't know. Did he? Wow, he broke right through that. I just want to get a little. Dude, I love that. From the back, his hair flickering in the white light. He looks amazing. Goku looks fantastic. Okay, uh, when in close range, step. Okay. Short dash when far. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Oh, nice. He has that cool glow. And then a rush chain. That'll be... This is going to be tough to get I'm not really great at fighting games. Dude, visually, I'm very impressed. This is definitely the coolest looking Dragon Ball game I've ever seen. It is a little weird seeing their, their anime cell shading styles, like, on this, like semi-realistic fighting environment but I don't hate it oh he's beating my ass now uh press when press when it hit to counter okay that's gonna be tough that's dope. I need to go. Come on, Vegeta. You're not done already, are you? Whis wanted to visit with Bulma again. If I okay. want him to keep training me, I have to catch him before he runs off again. Man, no fair. No he mentioned Whis, so okay, so this is so the storyline is is I mean assuming it's canon, right? It's or it's nice, good music. Yeah, it's post. Yeah, it's Dragon Ball Super esque. God, what we what? Seriously, ah, we could really have Bruce Falconer here and just be rocking the music. But this isn't bad. This isn't bad. But Bruce Falconer, come on, come on. There's been nothing quite like that. And nothing, dude. Absolutely nothing. His rock music was amazing. Some of the earlier Dragon Ball Z movies had music from like Deftones and man, I remember rocking to some of that stuff when I was a kid. Remember like the? Do you remember in the in the early days of YouTube where you had the Dragon Ball Z Linkin Park music videos, dude? Come on. 
Come on. That was rad. That was rad. I saw music videos and stuff with like Linkin Park and Edema. They had some really freaking rad songs out there. Linkin Parks were always the best though. Which, I, I'm not sure how I feel about Broly's new look. He's rad, and, like, the, the Dragon Ball Super Broly was a fantastic, a fantastic movie. But I don't know how I feel about classic Broly and this, like, sort of hero Broly now. It's kind of, it's weird, but it works. Like, it works, but it's, I, <laughs> story-wise, never saw that coming. Never saw, I never thought it was going to be Broly being a villain who, like, wanted to kill Goku, and now they're homies. Like, it's just, it's the weirdest thing. Now this isn't Xenoverse, right? So it's not like a, a whole, like new unique storyline. Oh, hey, Dad! You finished the tutorial. Congrats! Even more dynamic 3D action awaits you in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Access super training from the battle and training tab on the main menu to learn all about various battle rules, view demonstrations, and practice moves. Hey! See ya! What? Oh, he. Oh, I moved him, and he just like jumped locations. He's here! I love how Beerus and Weiss are kind of just hanging. I saw... <laughs> it's so funny. The day that I got this game, which is right today. The day the day I'm recording this is the day that I got the game. So, same day, right? And I saw a meme of Weiss uh, over here, who's one of my favorite, like, wow, Dragon Ball characters. You got all kinds of cool stuff. And it was a picture that someone did, like, a fan edit, where Weiss's hair was down. And it <laughs> was, like, one of the funniest things. It was very funny. You had to have seen it. But it was really funny, dude. What do you think we wanted? All right, let's see. What are we doing? Pleasure. Okay, so we're doing episode battle, custom battle. All right, let's go. Come forth, summon Shenron, summon Perunga. Okay, yeah, let's give it. see ya. All right, like, we'll do an oh, episode hey, battle. Dad. Jump right. it. Let's go. Dude, he is just jumping from like scene to scene. Wow, everybody's here. Oh, hey. I love it. Got Android 17 and his uh, Park Ranger outfit. What is that? What does the MIR stand for? Is it something Island Ranger? Is that what it is? Because he was on an island as a park ranger, right? Okay, we'll do episode battle. See how it goes. That's a cool shot. All right, uh, character information. A warrior who is constantly in search of new, stronger opponents, taking down enemy after enemy with his unmatched strength and indomitable fighting spirit. I guess, yeah. Okay, let's do this thing. I don't understand like the story aspect of any of this though. Like what is, what are we doing? Is he going back to like the Raditz days? Like what's happening here? Rot, what was that? Is that a Kakarot? Thing? It is right. Join us, Kakarot. Think of the battles you'll have. Isn't your Saiyan blood boiling with excitement from the thought? It's really weird seeing that grass, how realistic that is. <laughs> and then you've got cartoon Raditz there. Shut up! If you think I'd ever join you, then you're dumber than you look. Okay. I can't help but wonder, that child behind you, is that your son? Is it, do we have a water meter? He, he's not! Yes, that boy indeed has Saiyan blood. It's no use trying to hide it from me. I can see his tail from here. So what if he does? You know, perhaps you need a little time to decide. I'll just borrow your son for a while so you can think over my offer. Take one step closer to Gohan and I'll knock you out! Back off! Damn. Is that a KO already? Nope, we're good. He's got multiple layers of health bars there. I don't know anything about the combos yet. This is my first match. I didn't practice before recording this. So I have no idea really what I'm doing. We'll get better as time goes on. Right now, it's just kind of like figuring it out. I know I could have done like battle training and everything. Yeah, right in the junk. And that's it. We're just going to stand close to each other. I got Zenny and experience and I unlocked an, an outfit. That's it. We're just going to hang out underwater.
What's happening? Why is that? Why are we underwater? If you want your little brat returned safely, Kakarot, prove your Saiyan spirit. Eliminate 100 Earthlings and pile them here before I return in one day. And let me be very clear about this. If I come back and I don't see a hundred corpses, I kill the kid. Daddy, go, go on! I kind of remember it a little bit like that, somewhat. Why are you injured? You just beat his ass. Goku's no match for Raditz's overwhelming strength, and Raditz successfully kidnaps Gohan. However, he is then treated to an unexpected reunion. Piccolo? What? What are you doing here? I was pursuing him. And as much as I'd like to kill the wretch myself, the sad truth is I have a better shot at that if you were along for the ride. Hold on, you mean team up with me? Why in the world would you ever do that? Don't get the wrong idea. This would just be a temporary alliance, only for the sake of eradicating that alien off my planet. Once that purpose has been served, I'll keep my promise to crush you. And then I can get back to my plans of world domination. It's amazing how far Piccolo has come. We forget that he started off as a villain, right? We always talk about how Vegeta had the best like character development arc from being like just a crazy, psychotic, sociopathic murderer. And then he becomes, you know, an anti-hero and then a good guy. And then, you know, the, you know, Majin Vegeta thing. And then he becomes like a really good guy, whatever. But like Piccolo also too, I mean, he wasn't always a good dude. Okay, work with Pico, Piccolo, go at it alone. Okay, so one of the things that uh, Alex told me is he was like, when you get the option to make choices in the game, do not do what you saw in the in the in the anime or in the manga. Okay, you have to choose to do something different. So in the in the series, obviously Goku and Piccolo team up, and spoiler alert, that results in Piccolo pulling off a special beam cannon that uh, penetrates, it DPs, okay, it double penetrates, a little DP action on my boy Raditz and Goku, and they both, you know, die. Um, I'm gonna do it differently, though. I don't wanna get DP'd, so I'm gonna go ahead and go it alone and see what, what this is like. <laughs> Whatever you say. Goku, watch yourself and keep calm. We all know you can do this. Let me come with you. The three of us together could whip that guy easy. Sorry, Krillin, but you've already been brought back to life by Shenron once before. If anything were to happen to you now, you'd be gone for good. Maybe so, but don't let yourself get killed, Goku, or we're all dead. I'm still just kind of like admiring Krillin's like profile from the side without the nose, because it literally went from like forehead to lip. Like, yeah, he definitely has the uh, Voldemort thing going on, huh? Master Roshi's right. Let us back you up if you need it. Krillin. Master Roshi. You're... Oh, oops. I didn't mean to click that too soon. <laughs> we better head out. Bulma, got the Dragon Raider all working? So these are basically like what-if scenarios, kind of, is what it looks you like. Bet. I should have realized that was the four-star Dragon Ball on Gohan's hat. How do you get it on there? Do you glue it? All right. It's all or nothing now. Goku, wait! Bulma, let's follow them. Oh, they are joining for the fight? Interesting, okay. I remember one of the early Budokai... What? In the early Budokai games, there's like a situation, I think when Vegeta find, like first arrives and fights Goku, he could turn into a Super Saiyan and then what if? I was like, that's pretty sweet. Imagine a Super Saiyan Vegeta super early during the Raditz arrival, or uh, the, the Saiyan's arrival. Goku declines Piccolo's invite and takes Gohan back with Krillin and Master Roshi. Master Roshi boards the aircraft with Bulma, uh, with Bulma, period. <clears throat> Goku and the others go ahead to find Raditz. They had intended to launch a surprise attack, but they are detected by Raditz's scouter. They abandon their plan and decide to face him head on. Oh, Kakarot. I thought you'd at least be smarter than this. But you have no idea how out of your league you are. I am wondering how difficult this is going to be. You know, believe it or not, battles aren't just about raw strength. We'll see how long your strategicness keeps you alive. 
I'm sorry, brother. I was thinking about my offer, and I've changed my mind. You'd probably just slow the rest of us down. And for betraying the Saiyan race, you will die! Okay, chances are I probably will lose this. Since you're going to be eradicated anyway. Let me share a little something with you. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier, they're even more powerful than Okay, this is not going my my way. Where's Krillin right now? <laughs> you could train yourself for a lifetime and never even come close to their level. But since you were too stupid to heed my warning, how did he dodge that? Survive another day anyhow. Oh, dude, he's got moves. Am I supposed to die here? See, yeah, I can't even touch him. Oh, I got him. Oh, nope, that didn't work. How about this? How about this? Dude, I don't even know. Man, I love that effect, that smoke effect, that energy hit there. Huh. Considering how you managed to beat me last time, I want to see if you've gotten any tougher. So don't you disappoint me. Got it, Goku? Piccolo! Oh, that's so cool. Dude, he is, like, all about spanking me. There we go. Here we go. We got some hits. We got some hits. We got some hits. We're not, what, what is that power surge that he's got? It's not a Kaioken, obviously. What the hell is that? Damn it. He's too strong for me. K Krillin! That was cool. That's all I had to do? What's going on here? That was it? Achieve a 10-hit combo. Oh, perform guard 10 times. Krillin's proficiency increased to one. He didn't even do anything. Krillin just stand there like a coward. Proficiency increased. <laughs> oh my god. Krillin, you bitch. Say goodbye, Kakarot! Man, I'm really impressed with the visuals. These look great. What the? Power level 1,307? Don't hurt my dad! Okay, it's a little weird how, like, you have to click A to get the sound effects, or click, you know, <laughs> to get the... <laughs> Come on. No, stop! Don't do it! Please, he's just a... Just a child? Is that what you were going to say, Kakarot? Don't worry, brother. You'll see your son again in the next world! What? You little... P Piccolo! Oh, You're this still happens? Do it now! Ah, are you insane? Maybe, but it's the only way to beat you. Goku destined for that Sorry DP, to man. Be waiting. Are you ready? Do it! No! Stop! Special beam cannon! Use three fingers, Piccolo. There it is. <laughs> that was dramatic. On this planet, we have these things called the Dragon Balls. Gather all seven, and together they have the power to grant any wish, even if it's bringing someone dead back to life. You can all go to hell. Still, I thank you for the information. <laughs> Everything that has happened here today has been transmitted to my two Saiyan comrades deep in outer space. When they've learned that I've been killed, they'll come to avenge me. The, the other two Saiyans, when, when will they arrive here? How long? One year. Just one short year. <laughs> Damn. T 
two of them? Even stronger than him? How sweet does that victory taste now? They're going to wipe you all out. They'll soon have you writhing in agony like the worms you are. <laughs> Oh, come on, show it. Let's get violent here. When they removed blood from Dragon Ball, that's when it really just kind of fell off for me. Okay, so they arrive, but, like, we don't have any mini stuff or, like, in-game things to do. Like, we're not going to do some Snake Way, King Kai training thing going on. Uh, within a year, the two Saiyans come to Earth. Finally, having completed his training on King Kai's planet, Goku's revived the See, this is not a good barrier of entry for people who have no idea what Dragon Ball even is. Like, they introduce you right away to Dragon Ball Super stuff, or, like, the, the present, which is Dragon Ball Super, and then you skip all this. Unless, do you play from different character perspectives? Like, if I chose Yamcha or something, can I play through and get himself killed and he blows up here? You know what I mean? I don't know. Like, I've, I've, always, I've always had a problem with how Dragon Ball games just assume you're a Dragon Ball fan. Now, I get it. You buy the game. You're obviously a fan. But, like, Dragon Ball's dope, man. What if you just got into the series, like, yesterday or something? And you're like, man, I want this game. It looks freaking awesome. Classic Yamcha. Yeah, see, we didn't get any drama, like, build up towards Goku's arrival. <laughs> How's it feel seeing your little friend's corpses scattered all over? There was another one, but there's probably not a scrap of him left. Dude, Goku beats his ass. Piccolo's gone. What, you gonna throw a fifth small fry? Go right ahead. <laughs> that stupid look on your face just makes me want to kill you faster. All right. You'll pay for this. You'll both pay. You bastard! Okay, there we go. Stepping it up to the T for teen. Okay, okay. Using some foul language a little bit. Out of my way! Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Here it is. It's over 9,000! Where do we not have command, man? Like, what's the deal? That scouter's a piece of junk! It's gotta be a mistake! Doesn't matter. A little punk like you can't do anything against the mighty Nappa! Take this! The fighting is very satisfying. Although, I just. I, it feels. Oh, we're just getting into it, so there's probably a lot more advanced stuff going on. But, like... I don't know. It just feels like right now I'm doing only, like, a couple of different attacks, and it's kind of annoying. This is insanity! How could anyone gain that much power in such a short amount of time? He came back to life, man. You're the greatest, Goku! Show that muscle head who's boss! Get him, Dad! Can I crash through this? Oh, we got some rock music in the background. You hear that? Over here. Whoa. Out of my way. Kind of reminded me of like the music that you hear in One Punch Man, like in the fight with uh, Garo. Like it kind of sounds like that a little bit when they were talking. Anyway, the vocals. Take this. That's cool, though. His ground movement is so much more fun than the air movement. That's so freaking rad. I do love that. He, he eventually kicked my butt, but I just, I'm, because I'm messing around. But his ground, like, cartwheels and stuff are really cool. Alright, I like that music. Okay, okay, I can get a hang of that. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Missed me, punk. Oh, here we go. We've got a command mate. How do I do it? So how did he do the command mate there? Oh, you have to be... 
Char oh, you have to be charging. Oh, we missed it because of that weird visual interference. But okay, okay. So when you're powering up. Help me! Interesting. Got a handful of stuff unlocked. Pretty cool. Okay. I can see how this is addicting. Rookie warrior. It's progress towards like achievements and stuff. <laughs> I have no use for a paralyzed Saiyan. <laughs> Hate the handicaps there. Hey, Vegeta. The differently abled. Vegeta's all like, nah, die. He's a psycho. He, he, he just killed his own partner for no reason. That's a good reason. Sorry, <clears throat> excuse me. Not a good reason. <laughs> he had a reason, though, that he thinks is good. I don't think it's a good reason. Oh, boy. Dad, I... <sighs> don't cancel me for that. No, he's right. You saw what that other Saiyan can do? If we stick around, we'll only be getting in your dad's way. True. Sorry, Gohan. This guy's stronger than I thought he'd be. We've lost enough. I can't lose you two either. Okay. I understand, Dad. It is weird how they're doing this, like, 3D statue thing where their mouth doesn't move and they're providing dialogue. It's kind of a lazy way to deliver dialogue, I think, without the mouth moving. Vegeta becomes enraged as he watches Nappa being beaten to a pulp by Goku. Unable to control his wrath, he murders his comrade. Sensing the immense danger looming, Goku tells Gohan and Krillin to return to Kama House immediately. I will say, Vegeta being so sappy over the fact that they're the last of the Saiyans and dude kills freaking Nappa, like, come on. This bitch move. Then his Krillin requested he moves the battle to another location. Let's finish this someplace else. Fine by me. Makes no difference. Like, don't complain about being the last of your people, the prince of all, and you're just killing, like, the last of what you assume is the four and a half that are there. You know, well, I guess Redis is dead already, so three and a half. Okay, this spot should do. From what I can tell, there's no people or animals nearby. Interesting. Of all the places on your planet, you chose this as your grave site. <laughs> you should feel lucky. Not every low-class warrior gets the chance to spar with a super elite like myself. Not long after Saiyans are born, their skills as a soldier are tested. The scum whose scores are ranked the lowest are sent to the outer worlds, where the opponents are weak. Much like you were, Kakarot. In other words, you were cast out like a dog. Who casts out dogs, by the way? Doesn't really make sense. I've never cast out a dog before. I don't know anyone else who has. Yes. And as a result, I was lucky enough to come here to Earth. I'm grateful for that. Besides, even a lower class outcast can surpass an elite if he puts his mind to it. <laughs> it's a nice attempt at the joke. Now let me show you a wall that you will never have the ability to scale through effort alone. All right. No more what if options, huh? Oh, he's spanking me right now with this key blast. Okay, let's see what we can do. All right, let me figure out. Okay, so power up. There we go. Kamehameha. Okay. I want to get a better shot of this. Oh, Kaioken? Okay, okay. I just need to get him, get him to get off me a second. Don't fail me now. Wait, did I I'll lose it already? Strongest fighter in the Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Just like smash him. He is doing very well against me though. Here we go, get some hits. I believe this is just normal, but this is kind of hard. A true warrior race. Don't underestimate us. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> oh sh <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. There we go. There was a, oh, there was a Kaioken attack. This is a Kaioken boost. Yeah, he is beating me to, to a bloody pulp, though. How the hell do I do that? Are a true warrior race. Don't underestimate us. Got you. 
doing it. Yeah. Hame, Did he just like stand there and take it? Oh, he just bitch slapped my freaking commandment. Oh, I'm dead for sure. Yeah, he whooped me, dude. He took me out so fast. I remember people were complaining about this. Oh, mission completed? Complete? Oh, it's just that one mission. This overall mission was complete. People were complaining about how difficult, like, the, the match against uh, Uzuru Vegeta is, and I'm just, like, not looking forward to that because I'm having trouble with base one. Oh, it... The story still played out. Goku falls to the attack with all remaining warriors Earth defeated. The planet also comes under Vegeta's tyrannical control. Oh, okay. So that's... I see. So it's not saying, like, that's... Oh, come on. I wasn't even ready, dude. I don't know. Okay, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Explanation of controls. Uh, key charge. Yeah, solar flare. That's fine. Movement, fly, ascend, descend, movement, back, forward. But where's the dragon dash? Consume key and move while deflecting the opponent's key blast. You can also move to either side. Okay. Quick ascend, quick descend, Z-burst, dash. Uh... Press during a dragon dash using more key than regular. Okay, I gotta see what that's like. I don't really know how that's working. I want to know how to do that. How he does his little teleporting attack. Like that's so that's so Dragon Ball. How am I not getting there? Oh, I did it. Oh, that is doing it. What the hell? How did that work? How am I doing that? Whoa. Uh, okay. That's interesting. You're gonna pay for this! I'm not done yet! Okay, it worked a second ago. Now it's not working. Dude, he is still whooping my ass. This is not an easy fight. Where is he? Okay, hold on. I'm still missing some details here. Uh, explanation of controls. So there's emotes. Speed impact boost blast. What is this? Occurs when... Okay, let me get to that in a minute. Violent rush and sparking mode. I don't know how he's doing that little dash. Oh. Consumes key to move in close to the opponent and perform different actions. A and X. There's a lot. Oh my god, there's a lot of these. This is going to take forever to learn. Mid-air knockback recovery. Okay. There we go. That was a... I'm not done yet. It's a cheap move, but it does work. Oh, yeah. Energy little thing is nice. I may still lose this, but I'm st I'm doing better than I did now that I know that. I've had enough embarrassment for one battle! Not good, not good. Just cost you this world! What the? There's no way in hell that you can stop my Gallic gun! You and this whole planet are as good as space dust! Gallic gun! That hurt. Gallic gun! It's so hard to follow what's going on here, and I'm still getting my ass kicked. Okay. I, I feel like that, that needs to go down a little bit. It's a little annoying. Damn it. Come on. Dude, this is a hard freaking fight. Jesus Christ. Oh, I got a little better, but like, we're inching. Like, we're inching closer. That's not... That's not the type of progress that I wanted. Alright, lower difficulty and retry. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I don't, because I want to have fun, dude. I don't want to freaking, I don't care about the challenge. God, I'm going to get my ass kicked if I ever touch competitive. Oh, look at how easy we're, like, beating his ass now. I don't know, like, I don't know how to counter all that stuff. There's so many controls to learn. This is it. 
Ouch! I've had enough embarrassment for one battle! Your okay, this is that's weird. It went from moderately difficult to too easy. There's no way in hell that you can stop my Gallic gun! You and this whole planet are as good as space dust! Take this! Yeah. Lower difficulty and retry, so funny. That's gonna be a lot of me playing this game, I feel like. Just like trash. I mean, we're playing out on the hardest difficulty and I'm just doing really well. Nobody buys that. Oh, it follows him? What? Okay, that was pretty cool. You're gonna pay for this! Hey, we won! <laughs> oh man, I suck. I get it. I God, I Dragon Ball fans are gonna leave some really hard, co harsh comments on this. I think. Whatever, dude. Get out of here. Just trying to have fun. Just trying to have fun. <laughs> that went. That was crazy easy, though. Once you lower the difficulty, I didn't even get a chance to choose. It just lowered it and then made it super easy. Hard fought battle, but summoning his last ounce of strength, Goku manages to counter Vegeta's attack. Though Vegeta was hit, Goku can still sense the trace of his key remaining. Yajirobe emerges from his hiding place, but Goku instructs him to flee. See, like, how would a non Dragon Ball fan know this? And it's like, yeah, I know you made the game for Dragon Ball fans, but like, come on. You want to you wanna increase your demographic, right? Don't you want more people to become Dragon Ball fans? But you'd be so lost with this. Sure enough, Vegeta rises once more, ready to challenge Goku again. Goku believes his only chance for victory is to use his spirit bomb. However, Vegeta's secret technique, known only to Saiyans, up his sleeve. Oh, he's going to become... Yeah, great eight, Vegeta. Because, like... Burst open and mix! A video game should be something you can recommend to, like, friends to play with you. What was that? What are you planning? Why is he covered in milk? But, like, how do you recommend a game like this if they haven't watched... Your tail, Kakarot! Everything, you know? But now you'll learn firsthand what a Saiyan is really capable of! Did you feel that? There's a tremendous energy and it's swelling up even bigger! I don't think it's my dad's energy we're sensing, is it? Something's wrong! I'm going back there! Gohan, hold up! I'm going too! Wait! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> don't blink, Kakarot! These will be your final moments before I crush you! Oh god, this is gonna be hard. Am I losing my mind? He turned into a giant monkey! This is crazy! How do I fight this thing? <laughs> Since when were we dealing with a hundred foot tall monster? <laughs> I do love Yadrobi though. With no other options left, Goku decides to use his technique, Inkai taught him. The only choice now is to gather energy from all over the Earth and make a spirit bomb! Already? After all this time, I get it. The monster that killed Grandpa and the one that destroyed the tournament arena. All, all of that was... Was me? That's a wild connection, Goku. I need to beat this guy. No matter what. I'll have to use every ounce of my energy for the tiniest chance at victory. If I die, Just stay behind him. I'll see you in the next world. At least I'll get to apologize to you. I do need to learn that energy barrier technique, because that is useful as hell. I love how he just stands there and takes it. It is fun. If the, if it's not like crazy 
competitive, then it's definitely it definitely feels fun. I'm not a competitive player, but I know some people that definitely want to face me and beat my ass in this game, and they will do that. <laughs> They're going to beat me so bad. I'm so bad at competitive games, and this looks like it's going to be a, a little bit difficult to master. Noise. I need to hold focus to use the spirit bomb. It'll only take about 10 seconds. Come on, give me just 10 lousy seconds to concentrate. Nice. We'll wrap up the Vegeta fight and then, and then we'll call this episode a wrap, but come on, let's get there. Proficiency, huh? <laughs> okay, thanks. I don't even know what that does. Where's the narrator, dude? To buy the time he needs, Goku uses his solar flare on the Great Eight before him. Goku then makes a run for it, getting as far away as he can. Okay. Okay, I think I put enough distance between us. Okay. He gathers a little key from all living creatures on Earth to fire one final shot in the hope of turning things around. Last time on Dragon Ball Z. Oh, you coward! Where are you? Come out and face me! Time's up! He found me! There, it's done! I've gathered energy from every corner of the world! Now! Take this! No good, son. This is the end of the line, Kakarot! Even if you do manage to come back to life, this miserable planet won't be around anymore! Die! <laughs> Pocket sand. Consider that <laughs> a little farewell present! They don't have the strength to lift a finger, so just do what you're gonna do to me, alright? Take your best shot! Damn you, Kakarot! How dare you leave a scar on my beautiful face! Don't remember that. Did he say that? I don't know. It's been a while. Yeesh. Just for that, I'm going to crush you like a grape! Yeah! Grape? Great ape? Grape? Something there? <laughs> Curious? Why don't I kick it up a notch? Am I supposed to be doing something? <laughs> What's that I hear? Every bone in your body breaking? Must hurt. <laughs> okay, I remember what happens, yeah, Jerobi. Friends are here. How quaint! Oh, are we playing as Gohan now? Oh, there it is. Okay, so maybe that's it. Maybe we play later as as Gohan. Yadrobi, who has been waiting for the right moment to, to attack. Yeah, that's it. Leaps out and slices off the Great Eight Vegeta's tail. He's definitely not waiting for the right moment. He just saw one to, and got lucky. Vegeta returns to his regular form. However, Goku remains incapacitated. Neither Krillin nor Gohan stand a chance against even a weakened Vegeta. Calling Krillin to his side, Goku entrusts him with the spirit bomb. All that's left is to wait for an opening to use it. This is it. This must be the spirit bomb. It's all up to you now. What the heck are you doing just standing there? You gonna throw the dang thing or what? Huh? No choice now. Doesn't it bounce off? There it is. Lousy shot, Krillin. Typical. Bounce it back, Gohan! I promise! It won't hurt you! Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. All right.
But Jita survives the spirit bomb. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was that really had a great transition. Caught by the light of Vegeta's small false moon, Gohan transforms into a great ape and proceeds to corner him. I never liked that they had to see the moon for it to impact them. Like, shouldn't it just like werewolf style? Like they're just under the, the rays of, of light and then it becomes, it just seems crazy. Curls is about to finish Vegeta off and once uh, and for all when Goku stops him, tell him to let him go. Now where the existence of planet Namek, Krillin, Gohan, and Bulma believe it may hold a new set of Dragon Balls. Like, oh, Jesus. As Goku needs more time to recuperate, the three set off for planet Namek without him. Seems like that's a, a bit of a leap. Like, they really, this is the, like, abridged version of all this. All right, yeah, Jirobi's unlocked. Cool. All right, and yeah, see, I mean, I guess there really wasn't much that was going on on Earth. It's just a handful of Saiyans, and then we get to Chapter 2. But in any case, thank you for watching this first episode of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Dragon Ball Z Sparking Zero. I still don't even know. Uh, and let me see. Sparking. It just says Sparking Zero. No, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Okay, there's no Z. Got it. All right. Thank you for watching this episode, and big thank you to Alex for picking up this game. That was very kind and generous of you for uh, for getting me that gift and all the special bonuses and stuff with it. That's really cool. I know he uh, he mainly wanted me to buy this game so he could beat the shit out of me. <laughs> no, that's why he got it. He was he's been begging me to get this game just so he can beat me and i was just like oh, okay man he's he's had he's had like more than a week already with this game and he's just been practicing non-stop like i sent him i sent him that that meme do you remember from family guy that meme of quagmire when he like finds the internet like one of his arms is like just normal and then he turns and you see his arm is like all jacked after he finds the internet and i sent that to him and i'm like that's you when you started playing sparky zero dude you have not left your house or anything so he's gonna be so proficient so when we get around to actually playing i'll be i'll be doing some stuff on his channel he'll be doing some stuff on on mine i think uh we'll see how it goes i don't we haven't planned it all out yet but that'll happen in the future but in any case uh it'll be it'll be something to watch especially if you want to see me get my ass beat because that's going to happen but anyway thanks for watching thanks to him for all that uh if you enjoyed this episode of the playthrough of sparking zero you can show your love by hitting the like button do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet any feedback for me leave in the comment section i'll get back to you as soon as possible also don't forget to take a look at the description box as there are some links there that might be of interest to you one of which is a link to the mark and i community discord server if you want to be part of that group you can chat with me directly there will also be some links there to uh alex's uh socials and his uh his channel i wasn't kidding he is one of the best and biggest and uh uh, most powerful Dragon Ball content creators on the YouTube platform. So definitely check him out. Give him a, a little uh, click on the subscribe button, like his videos, and uh, if you happen to leave a comment over on his channel, be sure to let him know that Mark and I sent you. He'll be uh, happy to see that. But uh, in any case, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you when we continue with more of our playthrough Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. All right, guys, it's for me. Take care, be well. See you next time.